Meet Aranosaurus, the valiant lizard. Check out the text for more meanings of it. This is probably my favorite hadrosauroid slash iguanodontid, depending on how old you were when you first read about it, as Takei first called this an iguanodontid, closely related to iguanodon itself. This specimen was found in Niger and was relatively complete. A second robust specimen was found and was eventually named Lurdosaurus, the heavy lizard. The skull of Aranosaurus has been well studied and shows a number of characters that are specialized. And despite being a fairly primitive hadrosaur, the spines are my favorite though. Those things are so tall and gorgeous and they run all the way down to the tail. This critter lived in areas near Spinosaurus and Rabakisaurus, both of which also have tall spines, which makes me wonder what was going on in the environment that they needed giant billboards. We're going to look at some pictures from Takei's 1976 paper. That's his life resto from this skeleton. Gave it a pretty big hump. That's my Star Wars call out. Here are two images that he made of the specimen in the field. Some cool drawings of the vertebrae. Yeah, the tail, my favorite part. And then some just tall dorsals for good measure. And the caudals at the end. 